I am in Hartford, Connecticut, the capital city of the state. It's a miserable day here, about 45 degrees, kind of rainy, windy. I'm going to do a quick drive through the downtown to get my bearings, get an idea of what it looks like. It's uh, not very big, is it? It's pretty quiet as well. Okay, well, I'm going to park the Bronco and get out on foot, take a closer look. This is the entrance to the State Capitol building. Looks like a castle, doesn't it? That's pretty awesome. Give you an idea where I'm at. Capitol building is right there. That cool gold dome. I am in the city center, the downtown. I kind of expected uh, it to be a lot busier. I'm a little surprised. Not a very big downtown. I thought it would be bigger. Hartford is the insurance capital of the world. I'm not going to lie, I expected a much bigger downtown with lots of people walking around it. I mean, insurance companies make a ton of dough. We all know, we've all given them a lot of our money. Uh, but there's hardly anything down here. I admit I'm surprised at how quiet and kind of boring the downtown is here. That said, these are some nice buildings here. Real old, beautiful, and pretty well taken care of it looks like. That is an interesting mural. I'm not sure what uh, what's going on with that. I'll have to look it up. Her shoe says Topo Chico on it. Did they pay for it? Don't know. I'll find out. All right, I looked that up. The mural is called Just Grow by uh, renowned artist Corey Payne. I'm not familiar with him. But it's supposed to symbolize growth and rejuvenation here in Hartford and in the state of Connecticut. Well, this beautiful building here, they could start with that. Because it's set and empty. It's for sale. It could be beautiful, but it needs some serious TLC. In the uh, mid-1800s up to 1900, Hartford was the richest city in the U.S. Interestingly, it is one of the poorest now. That surprised me. Uh, roughly 30% of the population lives below the poverty line. I would have never thought that for Hartford. But its numbers are about the same as some of the poor cities in the south and places like uh, Camden, New Jersey. Hartford's right up there with them. You just don't think of Connecticut in that way, but apparently, yeah, it's pretty poor and there's a lot of uh, crime, or at least they say there is. I have to check for myself. However, though, when you throw in the metro, Hartford is the eighth most wealthy city in the country. So what that means is you've got a bunch of rich people living in the suburbs, surrounding an ultra poor city. Rocking Horse Saloon. Not sure if that's open. They got a couple little bars and restaurants here. The Irish Lady. I may go in for a Guinness here in a, a bit. I just uh, 
that caught my eye on the roof. Looks like a Buddha. But this is a, looks like a little uh, entertainment district set on the edge of the uh, city center. Give you an idea where I'm at now. This is Connecticut's old state house on a national register, as you can imagine. It's really interesting. Yeah, I love that on the roof, or on the top of the dome. That's cool, huh? I'm right next to the uh, old Connecticut State House, right there. Give you a look at the skyline. Got a food truck down here. That's pretty cool. I love, uh, actually not a food truck. Got a food cart down here. I do love those, but I'm not hungry yet. Wow, look at this. Founded 1872. Yeah, this is old. When this building was constructed, People are still riding horses, not driving cars yet. Looks like it's uh, empty now though. This is the kind of building that should be refurbished and getting some use out of. And look where it is, you know. Across the street from the tallest skyscrapers in the city. One of the busiest streets in the city, midday. It's a ghost town, isn't it? The car just went behind me. Shockingly quiet here. And I mean, look where I am. I'm inside one of the Irish pubs here, downtown. It's about noon. Yeah, I like the streets. It's just, just nothing happening. The only people here besides me is the bartender. And the manager looks like he's interviewing somebody for a job. Otherwise, this place is empty. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I'm going to enjoy my Guinness. All right, I've just had my beer at this Irish pub. It's called uh, the Tavern. Not much signage here. But anyway, that hit the spot. And even better, I walk out of the pub and look, there's no rain. Things are just better after you go into an Irish pub and have a Guinness, isn't it? Always. Looks like I'll be able to get that drone shot. After all, here it is. Now, I read some articles and went on Reddit's uh, Hartford boards, you know, to read about crime because supposedly the city 
is high crime. They say 30% of the population lives in poverty. I'm in the North End now. This is, I guess, the worst part of the city where all the crime happens. Uh, okay, it's not that bad. It's not actually not bad at all. I mean, look at these houses. This is, this is the poorest area, the so-called ghetto. I mean, yeah, they're not in perfect condition, but these are big two-story houses. I mean, one of these houses, you know, renovated and refurbished in California or even Dallas is half a million to a million dollars. Now, that doesn't look good, obviously, but, uh, you know, this is hardly hardcore uh, slums, ghettos, whatever you want to call it. Not after you've been to northern New Jersey or Baltimore or Detroit or St. Louis. So I'm just, you know, what can I say? I mean, yeah, they're run down, but that's a big house. Look at that. These are big houses. I mean, there's, you know, looks like a fire happened here. You see some uh, in poor condition, but yeah, forget about it. Hartford doesn't have real slums. I mean, there might be high crime, but the people have pretty decent houses. I mean, yeah, there are some places that could use some work, clearly. It's really not that bad, though. I'll drive around northern, uh, North Hartford a little bit more. I mean, the houses are not in perfect condition, but they're big and spacious. I mean, look at these. I mean, okay, that's a duplex, but three stories. Look at that. I mean, come on. It's pretty, uh, that's a lot of room. I grew up in a uh, single wide trailer house with four brothers and sisters. So uh, this, this doesn't seem bad to me at all. Yeah, so, okay, I've seen enough. I'm going to uh, head back to the hotel. We're going up into uh, New Hampshire and Maine over the next few days. So, be looking for those videos.